working title of my book is Unburdening Souls at the Speed of Thought. And that's kind of what I do, because uh, I really think that I unburden people's souls. I'm uh, bringing people to this psychological rebirth. And it's very interesting when I work with these folks because they will have dreams of, even men will like dream that they're pregnant and giving birth in their dreams. <laughs> you know, and that's kind of what I feel like that I do in the, in the book. And the, and the speed of thought piece is, because during EMDR there's, there's no talking, that the healing occurs at the speed of thought. As fast as people can think, they can be healed. And so oftentimes clients will say, geez, I'm seeing my whole life pass in front of my eyes and all these horrible memories and they'll feel this stuff. And it's terrible, but it's fast. Whatever is in the client's head, they know the answer and I don't. And, and so in a way, um, my role is diminished and, I, and, I, and my, it's really just to keep the person safe. Because a lot of times what we're dealing with are horrific, horrific things that I can only imagine that people have been through, that we kind of work through and heal. There are these um, Jungian writers, John Sanford was an Episcopal minister and a Jungian analyst as well as Morton Kelsey, and they, and they talk about this, you know, this death and rebirth psychologically and also how it, it relates to Jungian psychology and this death and rebirth sequence that people go through. The book is about psychology and, and these six stages that people go through. And you can view that secularly, which is what I do. I don't talk about God or religion in my practice unless somebody wants to. If people are religious and I share this, these stages that are, that, are, uh, that are a parallel from the psychological thing, um, I usually get them uh, ready to go. They're, they're, they feel like now this is a spiritual journey that Christ would want me to take, or if they're not a believer, then we could just do this from a, you know, a completely psychological standpoint. It's a book of, about stories, really. It's not really for clinicians. It's not a psychological book. Uh, when you read it, you would probably feel initially like you're reading a piece of fiction. These people are heroes. It's a miracle they're walking. And I think that's another reason I wrote this book. I want people to know what goes on in real therapy. It's not for people that are weak. The people who are weak are running around avoiding this stuff. These people are courageous heroes. They are. And if you read the book, you, you will know. Because people read it and often they're weeping before they finish the first chapter. Because the stuff is, is horrible and beautiful because they get better.